For the second time in two years, North Carolina A&T is on the move, becoming the 13th member of the Colonial. North Carolina A&T is the largest HBCU in the country. Their enrollment has grown by 23% since 2015. Their endowment has doubled from $75 million to $155 million since 2020. A&T is ranked number 277 by U.S. News and is an R2 Carnegie Research School. North Carolina A&T is located in the number 76 MSA. Their campus is nine blocks east of downtown Greensboro. The Aggies have a $15 million athletic budget, a $3.5 million football budget, and a $1.66 million men's basketball budget. Their rolling three-year attendance average pre-COVID was 16,000. Their all-time home attendance record was almost 35,000 against FAMU in 01. The Aggies have seven black national titles, four of them since 2015. They've played in the FCS playoffs five times. Of course, that doesn't include the four Celebration Bowl teams who cannot participate. The Aggies have been to 10 NCAA tournaments, including seven in a row from 82 through 88, and the blue and gold marching machine date back to 1918, World War I. A&T was a big part of the CIAA for nearly 50 years. The CIAA has a pretty fascinating history. We did a video on CIAA realignment history about four or five months ago. A&T joined the MEAC in 1970, then had a one-year pit stop in the Big South for the current school year, and now we'll be in the Colonial starting in 2022. Here are some slides taken from the North Carolina A&T Athletic Director's presentation to the Board of Trustees. This slide shows how the current year has been a record-setting year in conference realignment. This slide shows how the Colonial will be operating in two divisions, with the Division A&T is going to be in the South Division, located in Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. And the next slide kind of hints where the CAA is going next as they have two blank spots in the South Division. One will be A&T, and we'll find out who number 14 is, but HBCU Game Day has reported that the CAA is interested in Howard. This slide recaps the stuff that A&T studied when it comes to conference affiliation, like academic and athletics profile, their institutional and athletic expenditures, stability and sustainability, and access to population centers and media markets. A&T found the CAA appealing when it came to academics. A&T found the Colonial to be a better institutional fit. And A&T realizes that Colonial members spend roughly twice the amount A&T spends on scholarships, facilities, and salaries. So A&T realizes they need to grow and expand their budget. This slide shows that the exit fee for the Big South will be $500,000 and the entrance fee for the Colonial will be $500,000. This slide reveals that A&T has a desire to become an R1 Carnegie Research School. Right now, they're an R2. Bullet point number five shows how the colonial media markets appeal to A&T for the purpose of student recruiting and alumni engagement. A&T's 13,000 enrollment, which has been growing, would fit in the colonial. And A&T has made a lot of progress on their endowment, expanding it from $75 million to $155 million since 2020. As stated in the slides, A&T aspires to be an R1 Carnegie Research School, so an affiliation with other R1 schools like Northeastern, Stony Brook, Drexel, and Delaware appeals to A&T. Furthermore, the CAA has a lot of schools that are ranked nationally by U.S. News, like A&T. The Colonial has a lot of metro areas that would appeal to A&T, as stated in the slides, like New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Baltimore, Norfolk, and Charleston. And since A&T is going to be moving to a league with a far bigger footprint, airport accessibility will be important. And every member in the league is within 50 miles of a top 125 airport. Here are the athletic budgets of the Colonial. The top row is their total athletic budget. And the bottom row is what is left of their athletic budget once you isolate the scholarship money. A&T stated a desire in the athletic director's presentation to the board of trustees to develop and expand their athletic budget. So A&T does not plan on their athletic budget remaining at $15 million while a Colonial member. Here are the men's basketball budgets in the CAA. The largest men's basketball budgets in the CAA are Northeastern, Monmouth, Charleston, North Carolina, Wilmington, and Stony Brook. Here's the three-year rolling attendance average in men's basketball pre-COVID. A&T is right in the middle of the CAA. The leaders are Charleston, Hampton, North Carolina, Wilmington, William & Mary, and Stony Brook. North Carolina A&T actually leads the CAA in NCAA tournament appearances with 10. CAA football grows from 13 to 14 
with the addition of North Carolina A&T. For football budgets, Colonial Football has five of the top seven in FCS, as well as 13 of the top 51. On this chart, the top row is the number of appearances in the FCS playoffs. The middle row is the number of FCS national titles. And the bottom row is the number of black national titles. A&T and Hampton have been to the FCS playoffs five times apiece and have won seven black national titles apiece. For three-year rolling attendance average pre-COVID, North Carolina A&T leads the entire CAA with an attendance average of over 16,000. Delaware is close behind, and those two are high above everyone else. 